Did you know that according to the 2017 Verizon Data Breach Report, over half of breaches leveraged a social attack? That's any attack methodology that uses people over dropping some kind of code. And 90% of those utilized phishing. Today, we're going to take a look at how susceptible our organization is to a phishing attack. I'm Tristan, and this is Breaking Bad Security. There are two primary approaches to email phishing, traditional and spear. Traditional takes more of a spray and pray approach. Let's just blast this out to as many people as possible, maybe promise them some money, see if we get some clicks. Spear phishing, on the other hand, is much more dangerous. The emails are pointed. They're calculated by the attacker to make sure that they get a single individual or small group of individuals to follow through and give them the information they want. He'll spend months sometimes doing research to find out exactly who he's sending this to and then send them that single email that he knows will get them to click through. So in today's video, we're gonna focus on sending out a spear phishing attack. We're gonna take a look at GoFish, a free application that'll help you set up a phishing campaign and send it out to your environment. We're gonna set up a spear phishing campaign, but the steps will be the same if you wanted to send out a more traditional mass blast email. So give me a second to get our screen set up and we'll start walking through the tutorial. So to test out our organization today, we're gonna to utilize a free tool called GoFish. Huge props to a guy named Jordan Wright. He's the one who built this entire thing, made sure that it all worked. So what we're gonna do is head on over to getgofish.com and that's gonna give us the download links that we need to pull in this folder, get it onto our desktop and start up this server. To run this as a business, what you would wanna utilize is a web-facing server to actually run as the default server for GoFish. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that all of your machines that are gonna be getting this phishing email can link back to that server. When you run it the first time, it's automatically gonna create a couple new files inside this folder. But once that's up and running, you're ready to go. All you need to do is go ahead, open up your browser, and jump to 127.0.0.1.3333. Now that's gonna bring us right to our GoFish login page. Your default credentials are admin and GoFish. I'd recommend that you probably change these, but for today's tutorial, we'll go ahead and leave it since we won't be leaving this up and running anyway. So now that we're here in the dashboard for our GoFish console, what we need to do is we're gonna work right to left to set up a few different things so we can send this campaign out. And where we're gonna start is right over here with sending profiles. Now, you could utilize an already set up email server in your environment to host this, but we're gonna leverage Gmail. We're gonna open up an account so that we can use it with GoFish. Reason being, we wanna keep that workload low for ours. To enable GoFish to leverage this, we first need to disable some security measures within Gmail itself. So I'm gonna come up to my settings, and as I open those, we need to go to our accounts and import page, other Google account settings, and then from there, we're gonna to go to our connected apps and sites. We wanna go ahead and flip on this toggle to allow less secure applications. This is going to allow GoFish to leverage Gmail so that it can go ahead and blast this out. Now that we've got our Gmail account set up, we're gonna go ahead and set up our first sending profile. Now I've already got one here in this console. Right here you can see it's set up under Hans Gruber. I'm gonna show you what those settings look like. If I go into my profile, I can see that I've got my name and my from line. We wanna make sure that we have those brackets around our email address. Our host is gonna be smtp.gmail.com colon 465. This is the standard port that Gmail is gonna utilize. Go ahead and put that password in for that account so that GoFish can utilize this to send that email out. Once we've got our sending profile set up, the next thing we're gonna work on is our landing page, where this malicious email is actually gonna send our user. Now there's a couple ways that we could do this. I'm gonna be leveraging LinkedIn as part of this spear phishing attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up LinkedIn without logging into anything. That's gonna bring us directly to that login page. Now there's a couple ways that I could get this page itself into GoFish. What we're gonna to leverage today is gonna to be that import site tool. So if I were to drop that LinkedIn URL directly right here, it's gonna bring that source code in, and I wanna make sure I turn capture submitted data off. If you turn this on, it's actually gonna to return to you everything that a user puts into that page. We're not looking to cause any harm here. We just wanna see how many people clicked through on that email. Now that we've created our landing page, we wanna go ahead and create our first email template. This is what GoFish will actually send to our users. Now to do this, we need to get the source code for an email. This can be done through any Gmail account. If you go in there and look for a message from LinkedIn, 
you'll be able to drop this menu down in the top right corner, click on show original, and then copy that HTML for the email directly into your own computer. We're gonna bring that back to our GoFish template, click on import email, and then give it that raw email source. We also wanna select this change links to point to our landing page. GoFish is automatically gonna convert all links inside this email, pointing to the landing page that we just created. Once we've done that, we also want to utilize this HTML tab right here to go through and change any reference to a name that is not your end user so that it looks like it's actually directed at them. Once we've done that, all we need to do is go ahead and click save on our template and we're almost ready to go. The last things that we need to do is set up a user and group. Now this is where you're gonna come in and tell GoFish who it's sending this email to. Since we're looking at a very pointed email in this case, I've already got one user set up. My group name is for the cowboy, and I've already put my user's email in here. Once everything is done here, we're ready to go. Now that we've set up our users and groups, we're ready to start our first campaign with GoFish. So under my campaign settings page, I'm gonna create that new campaign. This is the customized campaign we'll be using as all of our users click through these emails. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a name and then I need to select the pre-configured information that we've already built within our console. So for my email template, I'm gonna use that LinkedIn email that I created. For our landing page, we're gonna use the bad version of the LinkedIn page that we already created as well. And then right here where it says URL, this is incredibly important. This is actually the location of the GoFish listener. This is what all those emails are looking to point to, to grab this malicious page that we've created. It's also where you're gonna get all of your results. So this is where your GoFish server is actually running. Now, if you have a distributed network, you can utilize things like AWS to create a web-facing server that everyone will be able to get back to. But in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and utilize the IP address of the computer that I'm on right now, since we're running everything locally. Now I need to schedule my attack. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the date and time that I'm looking for. And I want this one to run at about 3.10, a couple minutes from now. We're gonna select our sending profile, the account this will be coming from, and select our group, where we're gonna be sending it. And now, all I need to do is click on Launch Campaign. Immediately as I go through this confirmation message, I know that my campaign is scheduled, and we're gonna come right back to our dashboard. And so now give us just a couple minutes as this sends out to my email, and I can click through that for you. Okay, great. It looks like our email has officially gone through. I can see right here that the email has been sent and my campaign timeline is tracking to see if anyone clicks through. So from here, let's go ahead and act like that end user. So I can see that I have an email that came in from Hans Gruber. A new email address was recently added to my account. And if I click on that, it looks like I'm getting something official from LinkedIn. All of these links should already be replaced with that bad LinkedIn page we created. So when I click on that, it brings me right to that LinkedIn login page. So of course from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and create that account that I need because I don't really remember adding anything. And if I go ahead and click join now, nothing happens. And as an end user, I think that something probably went wrong here. I don't know exactly what's happening, but I may not raise my hand and say, hey IT, hey security, I think I might have something bad here. But if we go ahead and go back to that GoFish campaign, we can see that someone submitted data. We're getting real time results about exactly who in our environment is falling for this attack. And then finally, I can export that CSV so I can bring this as a report to my next meeting, let people know exactly what's going on and give them better education. So now that you have the tools and tricks that you need in your own environment to run something using GoFish, let's talk about how we can make our security better. So first and foremost, with phishing, it all starts with your people. You need to educate them on what to look for so that they're not duped in the future. Let's go take a look at that email again. Now I can see right here that this is very official looking. We used an official LinkedIn email to generate it. But if we go to that from line, I can see that it's not coming from anything associated with LinkedIn or even my business. And Hans Gruber, well, we definitely know he's not someone who would be sending us something like this. But even more than that, if I were to just hover over any of these links, I can actually see where they're gonna point me down here in the bottom left corner. So this isn't going to LinkedIn.com. Now an attacker is gonna be savvy. He's gonna utilize something that looks incredibly close to LinkedIn. Maybe he'll put a one in there or drop a simple letter. But if your users are looking closely and you've educated them properly, they'll be able to identify these and then tell you when they come in so you can identify if your organization is being attacked. 
and that's how you can create a better security posture in your own environment. You should also utilize a regular spot check using something like GoFish. It's really easy to use, and building new profiles is incredibly simple. As you get more advanced, you'll be able to generate things that look closer to the real deal. Maybe utilize a URL that your company owns that's incredibly close to your official URL. Or leverage different forms of email. Make sure that this thing looks like it's coming from your CEO. There are numerous ways that you can leverage GoFish to try and trick your users into clicking on that link. And over time, your posture will get better and better. And that's all the time that we have today. Thanks for sticking through the tutorial. I hope it helps you validate your own security controls and educate your users on what they should be doing around phishing attacks. Thanks to Jordan Wright for building and maintaining GoFish. It's a fantastic tool. And because it's open source, we can utilize it for this video, but you can utilize it to test your own environment, which is way more important. And a huge shout out and thanks goes to the team over at phishing.org. They put out a ton of information about the different types of phishing attacks, and you can utilize that free resource to find out more. To ensure we continue making tutorials you actually want to see, reach out to us at carbonblack underscore inc on Twitter. Use the hashtag breakingbadsec, or email us breakingbadsecurity at carbonblack.com. We want to hear from you so that this video series can get better and better and be more and more educational for you and your environment. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Tristan Morris, and this is Breaking Bad Security.